Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Eight shots fired in five seconds. Eight shots fired in five seconds. Tonight, Detroit Police Chief James Craig releasing video of the deadly shootout to set the record straight, saying it wasn't his officers who opened fire first. Clearly, they were under attack. 20-year-old Hakeem Littleton was shot and killed by police early this afternoon, sparking protests on the city's west side. Chief James Craig releasing video of the deadly shooting at 7.30 p.m. in response to what he called erroneous information being shared on social media. The video shows Littleton firing first at officers. Local Force Rod Maloney is live tonight with that video, and we want to warn you, parts of that video are certainly graphic. Rod. No doubt about it, uh, Jason. You know, and it's a situation where uh, this town was on edge for most of the afternoon, basically because of the rumors that spread that a young black man had been gunned down unarmed by Detroit police. But the chief came out tonight, showed the video, and put those rumors to rest. Detroit police gang squad members pull up on Darnell Sylvester in the white t-shirt here. He's wanted on a federal drug warrant and gives up without incident. Standing next to him in the orange shirt is Hakeem Littleton, a parolee, who the video shows pulls a 25 caliber Beretta semi-automatic from his cargo pants pocket and fires twice at an advancing officer. He dies almost instantly when officers fire four bullets at him. Chief James Craig said a witness heard. Mr. Littleton stated and I'm not going to say it in the exact verbiage, but basically that you're not going to take my man. Okay. You rich your phone, man. Just me. A closer body cam shot shows Littleton firing at the advancing officer, missing him, and the officer did not flinch. He is what I describe as an American hero. Despite being fired upon, and you saw it with your own eyes, he continued to advance. His, he didn't even have time to take his weapon out. He advanced. He wanted to secure by putting his own life in jeopardy. The chief says the officer remains shaken, as Littleton did aim at his head. But all afternoon, social media posts popped up claiming none of this happened, that Littleton was unarmed and gunned down by police execution style. It does incite violence, and I was deeply concerned over the erroneous information uh, I know we're in a, a very difficult time, uh, not just here, but across this country. And I've asked repeatedly that, you know, give us a chance. Now, the chief wouldn't address what might happen to anybody inciting that kind of violence. But in the meantime, uh, he did say that all of this stems from an investigation into that block party shooting on July 5th, where eight people were injured. They believe it was gang violence that prompted that. And the chief said both of the young men involved in today's activities were in gangs. Back to you. It was just amazing to watch this play out in real time as we were carrying this live on TV tonight, Rod, to watch that video and then again to watch it just now still. What did the chief say about how quickly this happened and his officer's mm -hmm. response? Well, we heard him say it earlier, but uh, it's important to uh, reiterate that there were eight shots fired within a frame of five seconds. Now, the young man who was killed apparently shot two shots at the officer and then kept shooting when he went down to the ground. They say they have all of the shell casings in that. It is early in the investigation, but the chief felt it was vital that they get this video out, and they're going to continue the investigation into this. But at least they were able to stop the escalating violence that was going on because people thought that something happened when, in fact, it had not. Absolutely right, and just amazing that officer is here to talk about what happened, missing a bullet at point-blank range. Rod, thank you.